What's up everybody? CP here. Welcome back to it another video. A special video because today we are going to find out why is Turbo C++ still being used in Indian school and colleges. Recently I found out lots of school and colleges use Turbo C++ to teach C and C++. That is the horrible thing to do with a student. So I search on Google why is Turbo C++ still being used in Indian school and college and I found out some article on Quora which is very helpful to me. So I decided to share with my YouTube family. So there is some negative point and some positive points. So watch the video until the end. One of the best article is from Abhishek Jain. He says, there are several points I had like to mention in a relation of the questions. First, the syllabus hardly changes. So teachers are used to the old way of doing things. I can still see Windows XP in my college. The college want to maintain the status quo. I once asked IT admin of college why they don't upgrade to Windows 10 at least. And he replied that because of Turbo C++ doesn't work well with it. So they stick to Windows XP. Thankfully Win XP had support of 16 bits program or they had be still on Windows 98. The execution survey rarely happens. And when they do, they ask the old government teachers who might never have written a professional grade application about what to change or what not to. The initial concept was to teach C and C++ which can run on any compiler. So they choose the most basic one which can't run the advanced stuff such as the standard template library that is STL although no modern compiler comes without STL support. Lastly why they even teach C++? In my view, Python, JavaScript or Ruby should be the first language a student should be learn. It's like putting a hundred pounds of bearable on person on day of the gym. Try with Python, they won't hate the language at least. Or even better, put Python in the school course. Kid already know what is the mouse and what is the CPU. This is well written article. I found this helpful and the last line which is kids already know what is the mouse and CPU, it is hilarious. The next article from Hit P. Jain. He says, It's because of syllabus hasn't been changed for a long time. The last time the syllabus changed was about 20 years ago. This is what my sir said to me or at least that's what I heard. At least the syllabus followed by my college. 20 years ago, Turbo C++ was being used and Windows 98 was new. But today C++ has evolved and Turbo C++ was last updated somewhere in 1990s. So it isn't ready to compile with the new C++ syntax and many more things like namespace. My CS book has a chapter named OS that is operating system where it tells about a feature about new Windows 98. Every year the book is repented but the syllabus is just the same. I use Visual Studio at my home for practicing and Turbo C++ at college. I suggest you practice C++ at home using the latest C++ compilers because that's what is used to in industry today so accept the change. You can use Visual Studio, Code Blocks or Eclipse. Nice article bro. If you are watching this video, first thank you and I appreciate your words. The next article from Vivek Chobe. He says that is the mindset which still prevails and that is what makes the condition terrific. People as well as students aren't interested to learn programming. Programming is required because they want to pass the exam somehow. Programming is important because after 4 years of engineering, programming is really important for getting a job. Who wants to be a passionate programmer? Who wants to create things? The next one is for Robin Thomas. He says, You are right, I too was taught with Turbo C++ in my school. And I do remember that the C++ I was taught was C with a bit of oops throw in. The first and foremost reason is that the teachers teach what they were taught. When I used to code in Turbo C++, I wasn't familiar with any other compilers. If I had never said to experiment, I too would have been stuck in programming in Turbo C++. Most of teachers were terrible when they were student. 
and hence they shall stick to what they were taught thank you robin your article is so good the next one is from adi the answer is pretty simple indians had change good or bad unless there is any profit both short and long term we hesitate to bring change i know this might offend a lot of people but this is a true as hard as it might be to admit i am an indian myself and it sucks that things are the way it is but this is in our blood and we can't do anything about it i think adi is very angry with our education system the next one is from abhi shrivastava he says because this country is more biased towards political rather than education our books are not even being updated they are only reprinted every time there are many standards and modules added to technology but still we are learning old and outdated forms even corporate trainers don't show much interest in teaching the latest tools maybe it looks quite difficult for them to teach the new tools from scratch i don't know when we will come out of this thank you for sharing this knowledge with us the next one is from pravas simit he says it is still used in most of indian college include my college also same in my college also as others said already yes it is because of lack of awareness about modern c and c++ compilers many faculties in india colleges are also not aware and familiar about the latest c and c++ standard like c11 for c language and c++ 14 for c++ so they continue to use turbo c it will be more good if the indian college start the install modern compilers like vc++ gcc or g++ recommend not to use turbo c++ with your colleagues friends and make aware about modern compilers it is it will be really helpful so we so we talked a lot about education system and turbo c++ but this is the what happened when they update a syllabus the somna says i have another nightmare to share with you as a technical teacher very recently ugc will be coming out with a new syllabus for college level cs there they have included android as a one elective subject now when i saw the syllabus of the android course i was shocked the college have been asked to teach android using eclipse with an edit plugin now you know this is past and most of android developers today use android studio no wonder the indian graduates mostly have half baked knowledge and remain unemployable for a long time till they learn by rote learning about few historical facts and general knowledge and cracks the equal boring government job i know this is nightmare but things are changing in my university which is pune university from 2019 they added python in first year even tamil nadu engineering curriculum has replaced c with python so what do i think about all this the problem is not with fundamentals or being strong in basic concept the problem is to make student feel interested in programming do you think they will feel interested after seeing c code and even after forcefully learning it all they could create would be a console app on the other hand if it had be a python they be running gui windows app at the same time they can always get interested in basic concepts after that and learn c c++ i will put all the article link in the description so check that out guys hope you have a great day hit the like button if you like this video smash the subscribe button if you aren't already and 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 i will see you guys in the next one